I, I think we need to do a better job. I think, and I think the main thing again is suspecting the diagnosis. Once it once it's on your list, then you'll do something about it. If if it doesn't even pop in your brain, and it's a, can be a, a fairly rare disease in primary care practice. Um, then, then once it pops your brain, you got a chance. But if you think, well, maybe it's heart failure, at least get an echo and you'll figure out what's going on. Uh, I, I think it's still, I think we're still under testing out there in the primary care world, even in the pulmonary cardiology world, we're under testing. So I think we need to do a, a better job at suspecting it and going and getting at least that initial test, which could be, you know, an echocardiogram is, is not the final solution, but it's a great pivotal test that gets you on the way and can make you now strongly suspect the diagnosis and move on, if, you, if necessary, to a right heart cath, which is essential in starting therapy. You've got to have that right heart catheterization before you can initiate therapy. And, and that's part of the, the difficulty with this disease as well. Is there's no simple test that we, you know that you can just run in a in a doctor's office to diagnose this disease. They need specialized testing. You know, right heart catheterization is is not necessarily a difficult thing to do, but it's it's invasive and it requires specialized uh, physicians to do it. And, and I think that's also part of why many of these cases are missed for a long period of time and often, you know, have often declined be significantly before they're ultimately diagnosed and put on therapy. Exactly. I think it can't be said enough. Uh, uh, I have so much respect for primary care doctors because they have so much they have to know and so many different presentations they have to see and deal with. But just with unexplained dyspnea, think about pulmonary hypertension. If you think about it uh, and maybe move on and do an echo, uh, you may uh, help move this diagnostic front up much, much sooner than it, than it uh, normally uh, takes place. Yeah, I'd like to echo that as well. I think. You know, this is a rare disease, it's a rare condition, but it's something that, uh, you know, with, with this combination of symptoms of shortness of breath, of, you know, lack of energy and, and fatigue, when, when physicians have excluded many of the other causes, it needs to be something that's on their radar screen and, and that they need to at least include in their, in their diagnosis scheme to see, what, you know, to make sure the patients don't have pulmonary hypertension.